Tile in this video, we're going to be looking at the chart project, and it's a really fun one. Uh, it's where if you have a table like this and the specific text matches, it's an exact match, it'll actually change the color of that background color. So it's pretty cool. You'll notice all the background color is this blue, which I use the chart legend, and then you'll notice that all the other ones are colored. So it's pretty dynamic as well. So let me just show you real quick. If we add in some different colors, I can click update. And what it's going to do is it's going to go through every single chart and it's going to recolor based on the new colors that I gave it. So it's a really great way to just highlight your company or your competition. It's a great way to do this on a report for your boss to make yourself look good. I did build it so that you can go through every single sheet. So if you had a single dashboard with lots of pages, you can do this kind of stuff. It's pretty slick. Um, again, it just sets the background color of this one, and then it renames them. So with that, let's go ahead and do a code review here, and we'll just walk you through the code. So the first thing we've got, um, we've got a bunch of loops going on. And, and so I'm just going to talk through each loop, and then we'll just run the code uh, and so you can kind of have a look at how it looks and works and feels, etc. So the first thing we've got is we've got a loop through each sheet. Then we loop through each chart. Um, notice that we use the SHT object of the worksheet, so that's going to give us through each sheet, through each chart. And then once we get down to the chart, we actually count the number of full series collections. And a full series collection is basically, if you highlight this, this has two series collections. It's got the vehicles and it's got the top 15%. So if we go back, so we've got to loop through that, because that's another loop that we need to do. And now we need to leap through, loop through each item within the full series. And so each item, let's break that down, each item is gonna be each one of these little axes. So Toyota's an, Toyota's an item, Volkswagen, Hyundai, those are all each item. So you gotta loop through each one and then you've gotta compare it to make sure that it, it matches. And so the first thing that you do in this one is we actually just set the default color. And so it says, well, I wanna go into sheet one, uh, cells, interior color, so that's one one so that's this guy and it's going to set that as the default color first and then it's going to go and it's going to do a loop in here to say hey is this one of the colors that matches and if it does then set it to the background color and so that's just a high level view of how this works let's actually just watch it in action i don't know how i did that so we're going to come in here we're going to hit f8 and i'm going to shrink this down I'm also going to walk these over a little bit so we can kind of watch the code and kind of see what's going on. So I'm just hitting F8 and it's going to walk me through each one. So the first thing I'm going to do is set that range. Again, that range is the A1 section. And we're going to go through each sheet in the worksheet. So we are in this first sheet. We're going to go through each chart. Now the first thing we need to do is count to see how many, how many uh, full series collections there are. I just know that there happens to be one in this. We select the chart, the chart object, and then we act, we set the chart equal to the active chart. Uh, that was a little, it took me a long time to figure out. It was a bit of a pain, but I was able to figure it out. Then we get the full series collection, where in this case we have that first one, and then we're going to go through each uh, full series collection, which this is just going to take us through one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab all the XY items. And that is going to give us, if you look down here, it's going to give us these axis items or the axis descriptions. And we're going to go through each one of those. So we've got 15. I know that we've got 15 because that's how big our array is. And so we're going to go through each one. Now we start on this one. And remember, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear this out. And so we do use this uh, RGB code because that's how you have to color your chart objects, which is a bit of a pain. I had to do a bit of a, some Google searching on that one to figure that one out. If I go ahead and run that, so I'm going to run this and it's going to change the color to that header background color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through each array and we're going to say, hey, is Toyota one of the colors in one of the ranges? Well, now we're on the chart legend, so no. Now we're on Nissan, so no. Now we're on SAIC, which I've never heard of, so that's no. Now we're on BMW, so that's no. Now we're on Toyota, so that actually does match. And if we go over to that range, you will see that we do have Toyota. It is down there a ways, but it is there. And it is that kind of ugly green color. And so we're gonna convert that to a number. 
and then we're going to use this formula, the mod formula, to get the R, the G, the B out of that. And then when I run this code, what it's going to do is it's going to change that to that green color. Now a couple points of reference here, a couple things that's important. You've got to figure out what series collection you're on. And so in this case, we were in C. which this series collection, which is going to give me the first one, which if we come up here, C equals one. So I'm going through my full series collection and then I'm going to go through each point. Now this happens to be point one. Now when we get to Volkswagen, it's going to be point two, General Motors is three, but that's how you make sure that you go through each series collection as well as the points and make sure that they're colored. And so with that, that's basically all the code. So we're going to hit F5 and it's going to go through the whole thing and it's going to go very quickly. It's going to ship to that next page because that's how we have it set up. And we have a really cool chart coloring macro that will go in and change the colors based on the background color or interior color. And if that is matched to the axis description, then it will actually change it based on the background color of that cell. So a really cool, really cool macro. Um, you will get this in my blog post, so check this out. It will be downloadable so that you can play with it, see how the code works. Uh, real quick before we take off, I want to show you a couple things. I did break these down into individual ones, so I've got the master code. Then I've got uh, color items. Uh, color table and I've got all these other macros in here so you can take a look at that you have seen me if you've watched the other videos that you use a scratch pad so if you want to see that how the code breaks down it's actually broken down you know a b c d e f and then we've got the recorded macro so I hope you enjoy